Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Benil. I'm a software engineer working for Red Hat on the Wi-Fi project. And today I wanted to show you how you can build and deploy Wi-Fi quick starts on OpenShift. For this demonstration, we will use the MicroProfile config quick start that is hosted in our quick start GitHub repository. The MicroProfile config quick starts showcase how you can use the MicroProfile config API to uh, configure your application. For the purpose of this demonstration, we just need to check to see that the uh, application exposes an HTTP endpoint named slash config slash value that will return the value of a config property named config.prop. And by default, the value of these config properties comes from the file microprofileconfig.properties and as the value my property file config value. Later in this demonstration, we will see how we can use environment variables to change the value of this config property without having to change our code base. We will deploy the application on the developer sandbox for Red Hat OpenShift that provide a ready to use instance of OpenShift. Um, if you have not already done so, you need to register uh, with a Red Hat account to be able to use that. I've already done so, so I just need to click on launch your developer sandbox for Red Hat OpenShift. And I can start using my sandbox that has been provisioned for me. So we are in the developer view of the OpenShift console and I see that I have no resources, I have not any application that is deployed in my OpenShift instance. So how can we deploy the Wi-Fi quick start? We have developed a Helm chart that simplifies building and deploying Wi-Fi application on OpenShift. So what I can do is just click on this Add to Project button and start typing Wi-Fi to install the Helm chart. I will name uh, the name of my release will be the name of my application. So let's use my app. Uh, by default, it displays uh, a lot of information uh, that are default values, but you don't need any, any of that. What you need is uh, described in the readme uh, of the hand charts. Um, and basically, a hand chart for Wi-Fi has two sections, how you can configure building your application and how you can configure deploying your application. Let's start, let's start first by building the Wi-Fi Quick starts on OpenShift. For that, I need to uh, create um, a build section in my YAML view, and I need to specify the URI of my uh, project. The URI, in my case, is the um, GitHub repository that I'm using. So I'm copy pasting that one from GitHub into the console. But I only want to uh, build the micro profile uh, config quick start. So what I would do is use a second parameter named con context dir that specified um, in my GitHub project where is located the, so the root of my application. With these three lines, I'm able to build the Wi-Fi quick starts and deploy that on OpenShift. So I click install. And it will open the topology view with all the resources that have been created by my Helm chart. So you can see here, if I click, I have the my app Helm release that is composed of a lot of resources created by um, the Helm charts. And by default, it creates everything to build the application, deploy it, it creates services so that you connect to that inside the cluster and it creates a route so that you can connect to your application outside of the OpenShift cluster. The most important resources is the deployment that encapsulates the application. We are using S2I, source to image, to build the application image that is deployed on OpenShift. For that, we have 
two uh, steps. The first one is we are um, checking out the GitHub uh, repository that contains our application, and we use Maven to build and package the application. Then we bundle that with the Wi-Fi server in my uh, in this uh, build config step, and then we extract this uh, Wi-Fi server that contains the quick starts and put that into a runtime image that only contains what is needed to run the application. So in our case, it is uh, Java 11. And then we will finally deploy applications with this application image to run our application. So the first step is first to build this uh, artifacts. As we can see, there is an error that the pods is not able to pull the application image. This is normal because we have already created the pods to run the application, but the, the build that creates the application image has not been started yet. As you can see, we have built the artifacts. Uh, we have built the application and bundled that with Wi-Fi in these steps. And now we are running the second build that is uh, extracting Wi-Fi and the application and putting that into a, a runtime image that contains Java. We can see now that this build is running and at the end we will have uh, created uh, the application image. And you have in the bottom left hand corner of the deployment icon, you have this symbol that shows that you are actually building the application image used by the deployment. We can see now that the build has been completed, and so we have the application image used by our well, application, and we can see now that the pods is creating the container and is running our application. We have a light blue, so the pod is running but is not ready. Let's wait until the Wi-Fi server has been started, and so it will be ready to um, to serve your application. You can see now that the pod is running. It's a dark blue. And if you click on this button on the top right hand corner of the deployment, it will open a route to access the application outside of OpenShift. So let's click on that. And we have a message that shows that our quick start has been successfully deployed. Let's now go to the slash config value that I had mentioned uh, before, and we will see that it shows the value of the property named config.prop, which was coming from the micro profile config properties file. Let's see now how we can um, use the helm charts to modify the value of these config properties without having to change our code base. If we go back to the topology, we can click on the Helm release to upgrade the Helm charts. And this allows us to, to change the, the configuration to build or deploy the application. In this case, we don't want to change the, the, the building steps of the application. What we want is to deploy that with additional configuration. So if we refer to the readme, we can see that the deploy section allows to um, specify the number of replicas, for example, if we want to scale up our application. And it also allows to uh, specify environment variables that will be passed to the, the pods of our application. Let's do both of that. So in the um, YAML view of our hand charts, we will add a deploy section and we will um, scale up our applications with to run three pods. And we also want to specify an environment variables to configure our config property. Microprofile API provides a mapping between uh, the name of a config property, that was config.prop in lowercase, 
and we can use environment variables to configure it. Um, the mapping is that um, you have to put every uh, letter in uppercase and use underscore instead of any non-alphanumerical uh, characters. So that means that I will use the config prop uh, as the name of my environment variable. And for the value, let's say we will say hello from OpenShift. And then I click on upgrade to um, have my hem chart upgrades any Kubernetes or OpenShift resources that is managed by the hem charts. So we can see that the deployment is terminating our pods and it will uh, trigger a new deployment with the new configurations for our pods. Okay, so it's it has started three pods, with the, which is the number of replicas we are uh, asking. And they are running, they are not ready yet, but while they are um, starting, we can look at them and we can see that in the environment, they now have the config prop uh, environment variables with the value that we have specified. If we go back to the topology, Let's wait for the application to be running. So all three pods are running. And now if I click on the open URL and I go again to the config value, I now see the value coming from my environment variable. So I've been able to uh, configure my application using environment variables without having to uh, change my code base or redeploy my uh, my wife my Java application. I just needed to specify new values for the environment variable. To finish this demonstration, we will uninstall the application. To do so, we right click on the Helm release uh, icon and we select uninstall Helm release. Then we have to confirm the name of the application to be able to uninstall. This will remove any resources that has been created by our uh, hand charts and we have a fresh OpenShift instance again. This was the demonstration on how you can uh, build and deploy Wi-Fi quick starts on OpenShift using hand, our hand chart. Um, there's much more features that can be uh, done uh, using the hand charts. Uh, but I wanted to, to give you um, an overview on the, the building blocks uh, for that and I will follow up with uh, other videos to explain more uh, features provided by Wi-Fi on OpenShift. Thanks for uh, watching this video. I will put in the video descriptions all the links uh, related to this uh, demonstration. Thanks. Bye.